Hey there, Taurus. Hope you guys are doing good. We are taking a look at your current energies on this full moon energy, the super moon we have, July 2022. Not all of these messages will resonate with you, Taurus. So take what does resonate. Leave the rest for someone else. Let's see what's going on with you. Messages of light and love come forward for Taurus spirit. What do they need to know? For their highest good and for the highest good of all. What's going on with you, Taurus? What's going on with Taurus spirit? We have the Empress energy. Eight of Cups. I'm not reading reversals, FYI. I'll turn them around in a second. Two of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. I think a lot of you guys here are just really focused on your work. You're feeling a great vibe, leaving behind something that wasn't in your best interest. Okay, it could be a relationship, could be another job, could be somebody in your environment that you've disconnected emotionally to, with. Um, there's some kind of planning happening here where they want to bring you back into alignment. Um, Eight of Pentacles here. Just focusing on your work, working on yourself. So this is really beautiful energy of taking care of you, Taurus. The Empress is here. It's a very beautiful energy of creativity. Just feeling highly motivated at work, it feels. Um, or your hobbies or something that you're passionate about. Why is this Empress card here, Spirit, for Taurus? Why is this Empress here? like a bunch of self-love going on here and this is just exactly what you need to do the full card is here You've stepped into a really like the highest version of yourself the best version of yourself queen of wands is here the world card so you've completed some really amazing lesson taurus in terms of taking care of yourself and <laughs> yeah taking care of your health focusing on what makes you happy cutting out anything in your life that's not in your highest and best good why is this eight of cups here spirit yeah i just feel like you keep being presented with opportunities for people to come forward acting like they're victimized by you okay <laughs> You stepped out of this victim mentality, though, as well. Um, you've changed your perspective. You may have had some depression or disappointment around a relationship, um, but you've, you've learned how to stay happy, separating yourself from people that aren't in your highest good. Um, I, I just feel like these people, whoever they were, they're just keeping you on a lower vibe and I think that you're you figured out really how to control that and how to turn this around there's two of wands here there's some kind of plan in the works king of pentacles some kind of plan having to do with your long-term st stability possibly even coming into alignment with another earth sign Taurus Virgo or another or Cap another Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, we have the Hermit card. I think that a lot of you here are feeling like, you know, you've, you're happy on your own. You don't need anybody else. Strength card here as well. Leo energy. Something here is in the works in terms of your financial stability. I think that you've, um, you've really had to tame yourself in terms of your finances there may have been a situation um, where you weren't using your resources to the best of your benefit and i think that you're doing some planning for your future here um, taking a step back i do feel like there is somebody here who wants to come forward with you uh, you know this king of pentacles this taurus virgo or capricorn doesn't have to be that sign but somebody here wants to take part in your success why is this eight of pentacles here we have a six of cups somebody here from your past wanting to come forward and either work with you in a work situation or in a relationship we have a three of cups so this could be a friend of yours 
or somebody wanting to spend time with you, meet up for a beer, meet up for a drink. We have a Queen of Swords and a Page of Wands. <laughs> so I do feel like whoever this person is that you're thinking about, and I know you know what I'm saying here, is that this person is too immature for you, okay? Um, you've had to really cut them off because some of the things they say or some of the things they do are just not in alignment with what you want for your life. Um, they weren't really able to remain very mature for very long, it feels, Taurus, okay? You've had to cut this person off multiple times, um, but they keep wanting to come back in to spend time with you. And I do feel like they were totally piggybacking off of your good energy. Um, they may also see your financial stability and want a piece of that as well. Um, but it feels like this person, and I know you can sense this about them, is that they're just going to be like in this player immature vibe where they want someone to take care of them for the rest of their lives, okay? I think that you're you're not interested in doing any of that. Um, they're very attracted to your energy. They're, they think you're very, very attractive physically. Um, they want to create this life with you, but it's like you're really skeptical about their intentions. I don't feel like you feel like they're going to want to stand this test of time. It's like you kind of don't really trust them. They sit in this like victim mentality a lot and they bring you down with it. They, they have excuses for why they behave the way they do and it's never really their fault. Um, I, I think you found that <laughs> taking a time away from this individual has made you really, really happy. They feel very disappointed though that um, you've had to cut them off. I just feel like you're I think this person may have been a temptation in terms of spending too much money or wanting to go on vacation somewhere. Um, I just feel like things were out of balance for a little while. And I think that you're defocusing on your own work and working on yourself. Um, you just stepped into this higher vibe. This person definitely wants a piece of that. They don't, they don't want to not have you in their life. Um, but I do feel like, you know, Taurus, you do have to like kind of tame, tame this person. You have to, with the strength card being here, this could be a Leo that you're dealing with um, or another fire sign. Um, they, I feel like they, they, you feel like you have to like kind of babysit them or like tame them or get them to think in a way that aligns with yours. And so it's like this constant battle trying to get this person to understand where you're coming from and why we don't do the things we do and no we need to go and have balance and go back to work and have a regular work week where we we can have fun on the weekends and maybe one or two days during the week we can meet up but we can't just like party all the time I feel like that's what this person wants to do is that they want to they want to party all the time you feel like they don't really have the capacity to commit or to be serious or to really build a future with you um, you can't it's not it's not one of these people that you're going to be able to sit down and plan financially for and two years from now we're going to invest in this business and, and then t another year after that we're going to buy our first home there's nothing any anything like that happening um, with this individual it feels like you really have to carry the weight of the connection you're really the one that financially has to pull it together or have this, the emotional stability to really orchestrate things that are going to be fruitful and abundant for you guys. Um, it just feels like you're, you're coming to realize that you're really, you're better off on your own at this point than trying to tame this person, keep them happy and maintain a financial level that can really support all of it. Right. It just, it feels like a big drain. Like if you wanted another kid, you would have had a kid. You know what I mean? You're not you're not signing up to want to babysit or create entertainment for somebody who's just going to siphon off of your energy. And then on top of it, they come come with you come to you acting like a victim, like, oh my gosh, like after all that I've done for you in this situation, I've paid for everything, I've lifted you up, I've been your friend through all of it, I've listen to all of your issues and then on top of that you're going to bring a bad attitude into the picture I think that you're really really finding your happiness 
by taking a step back and really cutting this person off, you may have had to block them um, because they, <clears throat> they're trying to plead with you in terms of their victimhood. Um, it's quite interesting how, how they've really tried to, there, it's like their perspective is off. They really have no idea um, how much work it is to really maintain a connection with them. And two, they may drink a lot, like if they're drinking a lot or they, an imbalance of, you know, food, drinking, whatever it is for them, shopping too much, going on too many vacations and going to Vegas and blowing all of our money. There's something like that, that this person may have that really keeps them in this lower vibe and keeps them from really facing the reality of, of how they are, you know, using people. And, you know, they will never admit that they're using people because they, they are still sitting in this victim mentality. Um, but this person really did bring you down when you guys were together. It just felt like, just felt like, you know, you wanted to have fun. You wanted, this person wants to have fun. You want to have fun as well, but it's like, at the end of the day, I think, I think that they were kind of a little bit jealous of you as well. Um, so it's like you, this, you can't really win with this person. Um, but yeah, they, they see you glowing up and they see you like just so beautiful and so handsome and so put, well put together. They feel like you have everything well put together. They, they don't understand how they can get to that point. They really wish that they had it within them to, to show up to life like you do. To, to be stable emotionally, to be able to plan and buy things that um, you need or want, right? They, they don't understand how you're really able to pull that off. So they are a little bit in awe of you. But at the same time, I, I think that you're, even with all of that being said, I feel like you're still going to be happy on your own without this person. Um, but they are definitely planning and scheming and trying scheming, but they're planning some way to get back with you. They want to come back in alignment with you, of course, because you have this am amazing energy about you, Taurus, that they definitely want a piece of. They're not willing to let that go. And so with that being said, they just, they just are thinking of ways that they can pull this back together. Okay. That's what I have for you guys. Please hit that like button. If it resonated with you, I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.